and I think we are live. Um, as always, if you're watching this live, please let me know in the chat if you can hear me and you can see me okay. And welcome to a very special uh, exclusive sneak preview of Gloomhaven Digital The Campaign. Now Gloomhaven Digital by Flaming Fowl Studios and Asmodee Digital was on early access it's been on access, early access for a couple of years on Steam, and they've been working on the campaign in the background. Um, and on the 20th of October, so the 20th of this month, is when it is going to be released. The campaign is going to be released. Um, they've given me early access to it, and they have allowed me to, to stream it. So I'm joined by John today. Good afternoon, John. Hello. Welcome, everybody. And I have my continence pants on because I'm that excited. <laughs> now, we've played... Gloomhaven Digital quite a few times on the channel before. Indeed. But we've not we've not covered the campaign yet, have we? We've all we've been covering Guildmaster mode, we've been covering all of the other modes. We've covered it a few times. Um but yeah, we're going to be doing the campaign today, which is which is exciting because when we both first played Gloomhaven, the first scenario that we ever played and probably the first scenario that most people ever played was the Black Barrow and that is what we're going to be doing today. So this is scenario 1 of the campaign. And if you don't want any spoilers, I, I, I assume most people watching this have probably played Scenario 1, but if you don't want any spoilers of what Scenario 1 is, then switch off now because you are going to see Scenario 1. And then the plan today is once we've done Scenario 1, uh, that is going to be the end of this stream. But then after a short break for a glass of water, uh, me and John are going to be going live uh, um, as a second stream for patron supporters only. So if you're a patron supporter of mine, you will have access to a second stream today where me and John are going to be playing Scenario 2. But for now, we're just going to be playing Scenario 1. I've already loaded big, up the campaign. Go on, John. There is a big assumption that we don't get our backsides handy to us. Oh, scenario that is one. true. Yeah, because if we fail, <laughs> it won't unlock Everyone. Scenario 2. Yeah. That, is a, that is a very good point. Right, so I've loaded up the campaign. As you can see here, uh, all you've missed is me saying new campaign. I've named our party the Beatles because I'm Paul and John's John. Um, we just need a couple of other people to make up the party. Um, you can see in the top left we are level one. The party is level one. The reputation level is zero. So that's what in the board game is called prosperity. Um, in this we've got, yeah, reputation zero. Oh, no, no, it's not. Sorry. Reputation is reputation. Gloomhaven wealth is what's called prosperity in the board game. They've called it wealth in here. Um, you've missed the cinematic intro, and all you've missed is a little screen basically saying you're going to need two mercenaries. So here we are. Johnny's going to create his character, and I'm going to create my character, and we can do this at the same time. We've discussed simultaneously what we've what we're going to play. You're going to be playing the scoundrel, mm -hmm. and you said that you want me to play a melee character so that you've got somebody who you can team up with. So I'm going to play the Mind Thief, which is technically speaking a melee character, but it's not like a in-your-face melee character. I've played the Mind Thief a number of times. Um, in fact, it's probably the most recent one that I've played. Um, and you can see here, you've got all of the details about it. You can click on this button to get your starting ability cards. You've got the strengths and the weaknesses. And I'm now going to select the class. And then we have to give it a name. So I'm going to just call it Ratty and create mercenary. So here we go. This is a new thing. Uh, it's not a new thing for the board game, but this is a new thing for Gloomhaven Digital because all of the previous modes of play don't have these personal quests. So I'm now choosing a personal quest and John can't see this and I can't see what John's choosing. Um, so I'm going to choose... Now these personal quests, yeah, these take a long time to complete. So I'm going to choose uh, this one. And there we go. I've chosen that personal quest. And that is it. That is my character created. And I am now in the party. So we have Lou Drell, the scoundrel. Um, and what do we do next? We, we don't want to click new mercenary. Say again? We make sure we've got the right cards that we want and we buy stuff with our 30 and gold. Merchant. There you go. So I'm going to click on the merchant. So what I'm doing, you're, you're, you're doing is independent from what I'm doing, isn't it? Indeed. Right. So in this particular version, uh, each mercenary has their own stash of gold and a personal inventory. So we've both got 30 gold. Um, 
Brett is in the chat. He's saying that that was his starting character when he first played. My my first character I played was the Cragheart. So I considered going the Cragheart, but the Cragheart tends to be a bit more at range. Um, now, what are good starting characters for me? Probably the Poison Dagger. I think I'm going to buy a Poison Dagger. Uh, and I'm going to buy... Probably a potion. I think I'm going to buy the, the healing potion. There you go. So I've spent my gold. And then you need to remember to actually equip the items. <laughs> We've done that before, haven't we? Yeah. He's, he says here, in the equipment panel, you'll find the different types of items a mercenary can carry. Yeah. So I'm now going to assign... Because one, one adventure we played, you found a really nice ring, and then we forgot to equip it. We left yes. it at home. <laughs> very, they were the days. Annoying. They were the yep. days. So I have equipped uh, Lou Adrell, the scoundrel, mm -hmm. with um, the armor that gives people disadvantage. The leather armor, uh, yep. The leather armor, yep. Which doesn't smell of Inox. And uh, a minor stamina potion, so right. I can get a card back. Yeah. And we get to do a city event, or it's called Ooh. City Encounter. So again, this is new for the campaign. This wasn't in the Guildmaster mode, but we are... we are. I mean, City Encounters are optional in the board game, but they're generally advantageous. So, should we go for it? Yep, you've still got an exclamation mark on your kit. Not for me. Okay. On my screen, it's okay. All right. Oh, so we've both got to agree to the city event. You've got to, you've got to click it as well. There we go. So we're having a city encounter. Our first one. A curious invitation is slipped under your door in the early morning. It is for a wedding ceremony between the children of two wealthy Gloomhaven merchants. Your exploits seem to have placed you in their good graces, and so they would like you to join them on this special occasion, provided you don't show up in blood-soaked armour. And for the love of the Great Oak, bring a gift. Right, now. We haven't got any money. That's the problem. <laughs> we are just starting out, and we haven't got any money. Now we got this city, we got this city encounter in the actual board game itself, but we were quite far along in the campaign. We don't have an option of not attending, John. So <laughs> we're just going to get spat on, aren't we? We we are. I mean, uh, shall we click the expensive gift and see mm -hmm. what it does? Bear in mind mm -hmm. we've got no money. Right, yeah. I'm going to click this one. Okay, so, uh, and also, before we carry on, just to say, I have got early access, but that doesn't mean there isn't going to be any bugs, okay? They are still fixing lots of little things ready for the full release on the 20th. So, and yeah, if something is, goes wrong, they, they will fix it. And I think this is one of them. And this playing. might be one of them. It allows you to, to pay. Okay. Well, I don't know, it's in red. We will see, because all I've got now is I've got an option of leave. Leave, yeah. Nope, it hasn't done anything. No, so, that's right. yeah, it looks like we didn't have the gold, and therefore that city encounter, we didn't bother turning it up. Right, are we ready to go on our first uh, uh -huh. yes, adventure? So the first scenario, the only scenario that is unlocked at the start of the campaign is scenario one, which is the Black Barrow. Um, so we're going to click on that. And it says, now might be a good time to go through the Merc's ability cards in inventory to make sure they are battle ready. In the quest description, you can see the enemies you'll face. Hovering over them will reveal their stats. So we're basically, we're going to be fighting bandit archers, bandit guards, and living bones. And you can see their stats. And at this point, we will choose which cards we want in our, in our hands. So, as the Mind Thief, I've got 10 cards. So the question is... Do I want to put any of these X cards in? Uh, that is a good question. That is a very good question. I mean, I do like that one. But it needs ice. Am I going to be generating much in the way of ice? Probably not. Are you sticking with the basic cards or are you going uh, something no, fancy? No, I've, I've, I've popped a couple of um, X cards in. I've oh, put, right, okay. I've put Swift Bow in. Yeah. Um, do like Swift Boat. <clears throat> and um, I put Sinister Opportunity in. Okay. And I've taken out Backstab, which is basically a, a plus five, a five attack backstab. Uh, sorry, a five attack card, but it's a burn. Right. And I've taken out Quick Hands, which move two, attack two, and loot at the bottom. Okay. I'm um, taking one out and I'm putting another one in. 
because I know that sinister opportunity gives me the ability to force force movement. And I have mm-hmm. a sneaking suspicion there might be some traps in there. There are. There are definitely. Yeah, if you've played the scenario before, you will know that there's a couple of traps right in front of a door that you have to either disarm or trigger or uh, or push the enemies into them. Right, are we ready? I am clicking the select quest. Mm-hmm. Exciting. Right. Very. Now. I Even though we've both played this scenario many times before. <laughs> yeah. Have you have you got a Scottish voiceover in your ears, Paul? I don't know. Huh? Have you? No. Okay. But I might have now. Everyone needs to eat. Now I do. Whatever your reason for coming to Gloomhaven, out here on the edge of the world, that simple fact is never going to change. A mercenary can't fight on an empty stomach. Okay, now that was a little quiet for me. I don't know what it was like for you listening, um, but that did seem a bit quiet. Let me just see if I can... So the music volume, effects volume, story volume. I'm going to turn the story volume up a little bit. I'm going to turn the, the music volume down a little bit. There we go. So I think that is the Foreteller app, people. So oh, right. okay. Sarah, a Valrath woman wearing a red cloak and enough gold jewellery to keep you fed for a decade. Are you going to buy it again? in a sleeping lion and offers to pay you ten gold coins to track down a thief and retrieve some stolen goods. Well, seems like as good an excuse as any to sober up and start paying off your tab. Okay. This thief has taken some important documents says the red-skinned merchant, her tail whipping about in agitation. I don't care what you do to him. Just bring back what is mine. Are you waiting Based for me to do something? Sarah's or? Description, no, no, no. We're listening to the... Uh, enough oh, to sorry. Around around a few alley thugs ...and get a location of the thieves' hideout. You don't find yourself as a mercenary way out in Gloomhaven without knowing how to crack a few skulls. So your target is the Black Barrow. Sounds like a lovely place. Okay, so it's been confirmed in the chat that it isn't Foreteller, it's new voiceover for Gloomhaven Digital. There we go. Right, I'm going to click on, see if we've got more. Right, we are now travelling to the Black Barrow. And we've got an encounter on the way. A knapsack and a walking stick on the side of the road catch your attention as you pass. You look around and see a man squatting in the bushes a small distance away. Oh, hello, he says. Good timing, actually. You wouldn't mind grabbing me some leaves, would you? I've made quite a mess over here. Okay, well, this is this is a road e- an event that I've not had in the board game. <laughs> Have you okay. had this one? No. Nope. Right, we will leave this up to the chat then. So, what does the chat think? Should we bring the man some leaves or... If you want me to, if you wanted to do that, put the word leaves in the chat, or do we grab his stuff and run off while he's indisposed? Uh, if you want us to do that, put the words uh, grab. So either leaves or grab, and we'll see what the uh, we'll see what the chat says. We are we are on an eight second delay here with YouTube, so we'll give it. So Russ is saying grab his stuff. Uh, Games with Heath is saying leaves. Level 5 Metapod says loot. Brett, Janet, Ryan and Peter and, and Chrissy say leaves. Or oh, we've got, we, it's about 50-50. It really is 50-50. Let me try and count it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why, but this has got a great deal of sympathy with me. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, I think the majority of people Unless anybody wants to uh... suddenly spam the chat. Well, yeah, I think it really is 50-50. I think. I've, I've not gone through and added them up. Joey's saying we should steal his trousers. Yeah, that, that, that's a good idea. Um, I think the slight majority of people are saying that we should grab his stuff. So that that's what we're going to do. We are going to grab his stuff and run off while okay. he's indisposed. Well, I am a safe <laughs> So you look Two from the gold. squatting man down to his bag. Surely he has something of value in there. You quickly grab it and run off down the road. 
Hey, the man yells at you. What are you doing? My stuff. You don't look back. So we gain two gold each, but we have lost one reputation. And we have a box popped up telling us that our reputation is going to uh, reputation has been influenced by your actions. Reputation will influence the cost of items in the merchant shop. Right, there we go. We're bad people, John. Never mind. <laughs> At least we don't start the uh, start the um, the, the scenario with poison or something. Really easy poison. enough to find. Yeah. A short right, journey more voice past over. the new market gate. And you see it jutting out on the edge of the corpse wood, looking like a rat under a rug. Moving closer, you see the mound is formed from a black earth. Its small, overgrown entrance presents a worn set of stone stairs leading down into the darkness. As you descend, you gratefully notice light emanating from below. Unfortunately, the light is accompanied by the unmistakable stench of death. You contemplate what kind of thieves would make their camp in such a horrid place as you reach the bottom of the steps. Here, you find your answer. A rough group of cutthroats who don't seem to have taken very kindly to your sudden appearance. One in the back matches the description of your quarry. Okay, right. So, I've got my two battle goals, and again, the battle goals are supposed to be secret between the players, so John can't see the two that I've got, and I can't see the two that John have got. And let me have a look to see. That's going to be tricky. Oh, which one of these should I go for? I've got one that's worth one perk point and one that's worth two. And they're actually well, both quite hard to do. Yeah, I'll go for the two one then. Unless it's going to drive behaviours that aren't going to help us. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for that one. I'm, I'm going to go for that one. Right, I am ready. I have clicked enter the dungeon. Okay. <laughs> Brian has made a good point. Uh, if anybody ever comes around to my house to play games, don't go to the toilet, because if you do, I might steal your stuff. <laughs> yes. Right, here we go then. Black Barrow. It must be four years when I first played it. I can't remember when the game came out. Yeah. these unfortunates, your target says, backing out of the room. You can vaguely make out his silhouette as he retreats down a hallway and through a door to his left. Well, it's not every day we get people stupid enough to hand deliver their valuables to us, grins one of the larger bandits, unsheathing a rusty blade. We'll be killing you now. Joke's on them. If you had any valuables, you probably wouldn't be down here in the first place. Okay, right, that's the intro done. So we are ready to go. So we have to kill all enemies in all rooms, and you can see from the map that there are three rooms. This one here, then there's this one, then there's another one here. Uh, we have a, Ooh, an elite pull, guard. Paul, Paul, yep. I don't control the scoundrel. You don't control the scoundrel? Oh, right, yeah, it says multiplayer, waiting for all players to have mercs assigned. Okay, I need to go into the multiplayer option, and I need to give you control of the scoundrel. There you go. Got it. But you were able to do the other stuff earlier. Yeah, weird. Okay, interesting. Right then. So, what's our plan? We got three guards, one elite. Um, we can, so they tend to either stay where they are stomping about going raw and giving mm -hmm. themselves shields or they move to and whack you yeah um they don't go particularly early so if you get if you're going to go and run up to stand by somebody and go invisible then i will go and whack one of them for yeah of i've i've left my go invisible card at home today okay so, in which case, I think we just hang back and shoot at them first. You're thing. thinking maybe go late? Yeah. Okay. Because I've got my... Uh, I can summon a plague rat. 
which is quite nice because then that will put poison on them. Very good. Um, yeah, so I it all depends if they're going to... We need backup plans, don't we? Yeah, so I was thinking of using single out to get my plus two and hoping that maybe one of them would move away from the other two as they move yeah. forward to come and engage. Okay, so I'm going to go... So are we going to use the system of initiative that we've used before? Yeah. Okay, so for those people watching who haven't seen us play before, you are not allowed to tell each other numbers or anything like that, but what we've come up with is a system where we can say we're going very early, early, middle, late, or very late. And that gives a rough idea of when in the round you're going to go. Some people um, don't think you should be able to do that, but that, that's what we've come up with, uh, and we feel comfortable playing with those rules. So I'm going to be going very late. Me too. Okay, and we're just going to see what they do. Mm -hmm. Right, off we go. So, they are going on 55, they're moving. Oh, now that's nice. The Elite is only moving one, which means it's not going to actually be able to attack us. Mm -hmm. And the other ones are moving two, which is brilliant. We got lucky. <laughs> they're not attacking us this round. This is not Yeah, sometimes waiting for them is the best thing to do, especially when you've got three of them. Because if I'd have rushed in early, I'd have been hit by all three of them. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so it's me next. And I am going to... Um, we are going to stun the main guard. Stun the leader. Yeah, so no damage, but I've stunned him. That's the main thing. And then it's time to summon... Now, where should I summon it? Right in the middle? Uh, yep. Somewhere to the... Somewhere that this one or this one Yeah. has an adjacent enemy. I'll put adjacent it, ally. <clears throat> I'll put it right in the middle. There you go. That is my turn done. I've got 2 XP out of the 45 that I need. <laughs> so... So I was going to use throwing knives to do two attacks. Mm -hmm. Now I've got a reasonable chance of killing one of these dudes by using just a standard move and an attack. With your back attack plan. over the top, yeah. single out. Yeah, because now I'm going to stand at the extreme right-hand corner, reducing the chances of everybody surrounding me. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Let's You're not moving movement. one more? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Why do you say that? Well, just because it's door. close as the door, yeah. Okay, yeah, they're not going to move because they've got the rack there to pin them. That's a good point. Single out, attack them. You get a plus one. Move. Here we go. Right -hand side. Although we are currently just starting the camp. Oh, look at that. Oh. I was going to say, our, our attack modified decks have not been modified yet, so it's just no. the base 20 cards. Nice. Nicely done. That's how right, round two. So, at this point, I want to go... I mean, none of us need healing. Um, I kind of want to go early. Mm -hmm. Me too. So I'm going to go early. My plan is to move to here and hit this one. Uh, okay. Uh, I will go early, move to here. Poison, depending on what you do here, or yeah. who goes in what turn, I will attack this one and poison this one, or I will attack this one and poison this one. Okay, early. Uh, what's early for a... It wasn't early for a rat creature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see what happens. Oh. Right. So uh, they are. <clears throat> yeah. They're not moving. 
but they are putting their shields up and they're attacking with poison. Now remember, the, the, the leader is stunned. The elite guard is stunned. Yeah. So... so I, I have a reasonable chance of killing um, the fella on the left. Okay. The bandit on the left. Go for it. Uh, I will do some damage to the fella in the middle. However, he'll have a second shield up by the time you're yeah. familiar and you attack him. So, which do you think? Go for the well, the thing is, the we've got loads and loads of poison here because my mm -hmm. um, my uh, my my summoned ally is going to poison. I've also got a, da a poison dagger. We've gone overboard with the poison. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I mean, if you can kill that one on the left, I'd I'd go for it. Okay. So there you go, it's poisoned. Give me five plus one, six. Six. So as long as you get... Oh, oh there you go. The problem is you're using up all your good cards in your deck. I am. <laughs> I am. Right, well, this has gone well. So far. So far. Right. Now the main guy is poisoned. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go around. Well, I was going to go around and do that, but actually, I'm not sure now. No, I will. I'm going to move three to here. And do an attack of one, which is plus one because of the poison, but it's got shield. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't want to use my poison dagger because he's already poisoned. There you go. And then I'm going to do another attack one, but this time I'm going to wound it as well. That's nice. So, yeah, that was one plus one minus... Yeah, okay. So it's poisoned and wounded, and as long as we can go before it, we'll probably be able to get rid of it. So, what do we think? Do, are we both going to go early and get rid of it and then maybe yeah. go in the room next yeah. round? Or yeah. should we be looking yeah. at going in the room this round? No, I think we need to go and get some, get some Cause, gold. Because we both know what's in that next room. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of gold, you know, when I woke up this morning, I, I, I just, I don't know, something about money. I, I think I've decided I've got a new life philosophy, John. Money isn't everything. Okay. Money okay? isn't everything. Money isn't everything. I'm 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 not I'm not feeling the need to to pick up any gold today. Just not really in the oh, mood. Really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wondered what you were doing. It's very out of character, but I understand one <laughs> has these godlike interventions every so Yeah. Time. You know, when you wake up suddenly in the morning yeah. and you just think, yeah. ah, today yeah. today I really no. fancy opening a door, you know. From, okay. No, I'm not saying that's what I feel like, <laughs> but some some days you just feel like that. You silly person. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay. Yes, um, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, Again, it, it, it's a cooperative game. Some people play it strictly and keep everything secret. Yeah. And what we do is we kind of, we don't really do that. We just enjoy the game a bit more. Um, mm -hmm. But it's completely up to you how you, uh, how you play it. I'm going early. You're going early, so but the plan is to basically kill this Whack thing. Him. Yeah, yeah, and then have a, a little breather, maybe or not a breather. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe not, a yeah, maybe not a breather. Yeah, maybe not a breather. Oh, hang on. So, if not a breather, then I want. Yeah, I don't think a breather. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm trying to work out which augment I should put on. Because mm. they're all good. But I know what's in the next room. <laughs> My rat might not be doing very much. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put that one on. I have made my selection. All right.
Ooh. Yeah. <sighs> Won't be doing that. Okay, so. My turn. I am going to put that on. Now, as long as we get it down to one health, it will die on its turn. So, okay. what do you think? Not, not run, opening, because I could open the door run. now. Run, Forrest, run. Are you in a position where you could do something yes. Yes. if I open the door? Yes. You sure? Uh, I think so. Because I'd, I'd be stood on the door space. Uh, so I've got swift bow. Uh, mm, actually, yeah, I'll be able to shoot one of the guards in there. You have some? Do you have some boots with you? No. Okay. Well, um, we could pause if you wanted to. Hmm. It is a little risky for me to open the door, but you're going on twenty-three, so the chances are you'll probably yeah. go. Yeah, I'm not going to kill anyone with this device. At oh, hang on, maybe I am. Hmm. Okay, there's a. Yeah, I've got my plus two if the if the baddies are, are not next to each other, haven't I? So, yeah. But you're only going to be able to move two and then use your mm -hmm. swift bow, and I'm going mm -hmm. to be on the door. That's okay. It should I think they're close enough? I mean, it's I probably safer know. if I don't. Uh, okay. All right. <sighs> yeah, I think I'll just move here. And then, I'll, and then you can go on the door and you can shoot, because then you can go on the doorway. Oh, thanks, mate. If you want to, I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm leaving the choice up to you. Ah. <laughs> it's completely up to you. Up to you. Up to you. No, no, up to you. <laughs> um, so what's going to happen? So we know that there are two guards and an archer in the back, in right at the back. Three archers. Because we've played it before. We know that there are three archers in this room. One elite at the back, and uh -huh. two of them about halfway along. So yeah, I think if you went onto the doorway, I think you'll be able to shoot one of them with the swift bow. Yeah, no, it's, it's two guards yeah, and one archer. I was wrong. Yeah. Apologies. Yeah. So it's two guards and it's an right. archer at the back. It's all right. I am pretty sure the first time I played this scenario, it was three archers. So that's okay. obviously changed. I'll have a look in the book in a minute. Yeah. Um, uh, da, 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 da. So attack three, range four. Yep. And he's not next to. Oh, I didn't use that, did I? Mm, okay. Now Last. we know what the guards are going to do. They are going to move and attack. So as soon as yeah. you've gone, you're going to get attacked yeah. by both of them. But that's fine. Yeah. You'll be all right. And the archer, I will be all right. Nice. Yeah, well, my, my rat is probably out of action for the rest of the scenario because it moves so slowly. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he's eat you. It's not allowed. It's just it's just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. Yeah. Okay, so Steve in the chat has confirmed it's never been three arches in two player. Yeah. It's probably because I the first time I played it was four player. And I remember one character opened the door. Oh, got a null. Um, yes, and got and got attacked by three archers. And that's that's what I'm remembering. I think whoever set the game up misread it because you don't change you don't change the character, do you, in the book? Because it's got oh. the little highlights. So when you say whoever set it up got it wrong, that would be me then. Ah. <laughs> yeah, so in the book. In the book. Four player we would have three bandit guards uh, and then oh Christ three archers You're it right is three archers. three archers there yeah. you go so there are six baddies in this room six baddies in a four player game there would be three guards and three archers right okay. so we were both right yeah so what's the plan here I, I've got some pushing cards which I can use to oh it's push three so I can push this one, mm -hmm. one, two, three, here. Nice. Yeah. I was wondering whether I run up and go invisible and therefore do damage, dam double damage on the archer and kill it next turn. Mm -hmm. um, 
the invisibility in the next room is not that helpful, really. That was my thought. So I think okay. I'm going to do that. So I'm going early, not very early, but early. Uh, and I'm going to sneak in here and then attack that one and push it into there. Okay. My selection is done. Can you hear in my ear? Obviously, I can hear you, but I can also hear this little buzzing noise. I, I like, have... there's, like there's flies buzzing around me. Oh. And, that? Is that better? Well, no, no, it's, it's not a problem at your end. It's coming from the game. And I'm just looking at my character and there's little there's little flies buzzing around me. So I, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's yeah, that, that I can hear. Yeah. Smell. <laughs> well, it's the, probably the playground. It could be the playground. Yeah, there's flies buzzing around the playground. I think that's what I can hear in my ear. <laughs> right. So the archer is going on 14. Uh, he's creating a trap. Uh, right. Okay. Off we go then. So you're first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Joel can hear the flies as well. Didn't think it was just me. <laughs> so scoundrels running all the way to there and going invisible. There has to be an invisible something. <laughs> okay. Now I need another card for next round. Uh, so I'm going to. I want to go. You're late. drinking your stamina potion. I am. Okay. And I haven't got the one that does. Oh yes, I am. That's already there. You clever man. Okay. Uh, flanking strike. Cool. Uh, oh. Yeah. Done it? Yeah. And it's gone dark. The dark element has been created. Right, so we've got another trap. And then it is the plague rat. Don't pick up any gold. You know what I told you. Right, my go. So I'm going to do a move two. Now. No, yeah. I was thinking I might push the other one instead, but no. Let's move two. And then attack two. Do I want to use the poison on this? No, I don't think I do. Because it's possibly going to die from the trap if I draw a plus one. So the poison's so not really going to do anything. Yes, look at that. Nice. Oh, I'm going to poison it anyway because of my um, special thingy. My augment that I've got. There you go. I've made us a, a path through. Yeah. Now it would be particularly mean of me if I left that gold there blocking your entrance into the, uh, <laughs> into the room. I'm going to take the damage from that. Uh, right. It is the next round, I believe. So I'm down to my last two cards. So I'm probably going to be resting after this. And I think my plan is just to go around the middle and hit this thing and okay. hopefully kill it. It might go okay. before me. Okay. So are you going to hit that archer for big damage? Big damage, I am. Okay. So the archer is going on 44, which is before both. You're going, oh, you're going late. I'm going to get shotted. We can heal you. Ouch. Anyway. Right. Now, this is a problem oh. because I don't have any cards in my hand. Oh, no. So I'm losing, I'm burning two of my discarded cards. Me too. Ouch. Sorry. No, it's all right. This is how it goes. It's all been going swimmingly so far. So, yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to lose two of my cards. Oh, which means making decisions. I don't like making decisions, John. <laughs> uh, you make the same. It's, you're playing the wrong game, Paul. <laughs> That's true. Um, oh, blast. Sorry, I shouldn't have won it. Okay. I could so, easily have gone early. Could you? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. 
You right. know, it's like once you've got invisible, you don't want to let it go, do you? I know, I know. Right, so now it's my go. So I'm going to... Okay, now. I need to look at what the range of this archer is. It's got a range of five, so... What I could do is I could force that archer to perform an attack two on the other one. Yeah. But then I would have an attack card which then wouldn't do anything at all. So mm -hmm. it's probably not worth it. Uh, I'm just going to do my submissive affliction, I think. We'll do that first, which is something like attack four. Yeah. Because it's got two negative conditions on it. Now it's only yeah. coming up with attack two and I'm not sure why. It should be attack... Oh no, I'm going to be putting Muddle and Poison on it. Uh, it doesn't currently have those conditions. Oh, I drew me null. Ooh. Right. So what away. is the guard doing? The guard is move to attack two. Which means... You can <laughs> run away back into the other room. Uh, yeah, but then I'm going further back. I don't want to do that. I've got to move four. The problem is, move four puts me on the same space as you. Or the gold. Or a trap. <laughs> exactly. I don't want either of those. <laughs> I do not want either of any of those. So... Oh... Uh, one, two, three, four, one, You've not got one, any boots, no? No, no boots. I'm just going to go here. Okay. Now... Do I want to drink my healing potion? I do not, because I'm only actually down one health. Oh, that's lucky. Of course. It's going for the rat. Because it's got higher initiative than you. Yeah, so I'm kind of hoping that my rat deals with that and <laughs> we can just ignore it. Right, come on then, John. Sort out this archer. With your, with your big damage output, which is going to be what? Ten? Uh... Well, I'm going to do... Well, I haven't got a, an ally next to me, so it's going to be six. And then I'm going to move it into the trap. Ah, right. Okay, yeah. Or not. Ooh, or not. <laughs> there you go. You got him where it hurts. Uh, yeah, I don't think... Do you mind me standing on this gold here next to the door? I, I'm, I'm more than happy for you to get as much gold as you can. Right, round six. I'm going to long rest. Well, that's the thing. If I long rest, I'm going to be going on initiative 99. Which means my rat is going to get attacked by the guard first, mm -hmm. and the guard is currently strengthened. Okay. But if you're you long resting... Up for the next round? Yeah, I think if you're long resting, I think I need to long rest as well. Yeah, so we'll both have a Girls sit down. <laughs> Guard's probably not going to kill the rat. I hope not. But we'll see. What were you saying? Oh, <laughs> oh it's all gone oh, a bit wrong. Ratty. Yeah. So I'm now losing another card. And I'm going to lose... Ooh... Oh, rats. Pun intended. Right, so we've got four baddies, no traps, lots of gold in this room. Yeah, and um, a chest. Get the uh, chest in the bottom left-hand corner as we're yeah. looking at. If you can get the chest, that'll be good. Yeah. Right, I've done my heal, and I've got my cards back. This is very, very nicely done. I've said it every time we play this. It is yeah. very nicely done. Frodo's got a good question. Do I get a different emotional feel to this versus Guildmaster? Yes. In some ways, it's it's the same game. We're, we're playing a scenario of Gloomhaven. It feels exactly the same as playing a scenario in Guildmaster. However, there is a certain... You know, I remember when Isaac had the first two physical copies of Gloomhaven ever printed and he took them to Essen that year 
and one of them came back with me. And other than Isaac, uh, I was the first, well, other than the people who got a demo of it that Essen, uh, I was the first person, me and my group were the first people in the world to actually start the campaign with the physical version of the game. Um, and we started Black just Barrow. Um, yeah, just saying. But also, when, when the game came out, I was running uh, demos of Black Barrow at UK conventions for Isaac to help him promote the game, because, you know, he, he needed all the help he could get promoting the game. <laughs> um, and, I, and I ran Black Barrow scenario for about 10 different groups of people. And uh, yeah, there's a very, very strong emotional attachment to, to that time when I was demoing that game. Because, you know, I knew back then, as a lot of people did, that this was going to be a, a big game. Right then. And the other thing before we enter the last room is... Although Gloomhaven is a campaign game with a story, there's a lot of campaign games with stories where they're not that replayable. This is replayable because every single time you play it, it is a different tactical puzzle. Um, and you've got the different characters and everything else. And even though you're playing exactly the same scenario with exactly the same enemies, I, I could play this scenario 20 times, 30 times, and it'd still be enjoyable. Um, I mean, how many times have you played Black Barrow, John? Um... At various difficulty levels with different characters on this game in front of me, six plus twice in cardboard plus cardboard solo for the brute. Okay. So nine. So nine times. <laughs> yeah. But I am right. Sad. I've only got five cards left. Going into the last room. What's our plan? Okay. Uh, we need to kill the double targeting. Skeletons quickly, they've got shields, and the yes. archers are standing behind them, and they're really irritating. Yes. Um, irritating archers, I think, is their official name. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think at this level they only have four hits, the normal mm -hmm. ones. Um, so I might try and wipe one of those out while poisoning one of the, one of the skeletons. Yeah. When are we going? What initiative... Uh, early, late? Early, early middle-ish. Mid middle? Yeah. Okay. So, and where are you going to be ending up? How many are you moving? Two into the room. You're just going two into the room? Yeah. Okay. Assuming that's where the skeletons are, maybe three into the room. Okay. I'm not sure how many I should move into the room. Um, uh, don't need any healing at this stage. No. So... So hmm. I could end up taking six attacks if you don't come into the room, but so be it. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm coming into the room, it's just it's just when am I coming into the room, because I, okay. might, I might have to go before you. Okay. Um, oh, but that card is that. Oh, this is so tricky. Yeah, I mean, my character's different because I've got some moves on top and some fancy stuff on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to pick my fancy. cards. <laughs> and we'll see what happens. That's the game. Oh, of course, we got the guard Ooh. as well. Forgot about the guard. Oh, Oops. he thought he was dead. <laughs> he's not dead. He's going to be coming back after us. Yeah. Right. Can you stun him? So... No. No. What What do you want me to do? I can move three into the room. What's he doing? What's the guard doing? Uh, the guard is moving and attacking, but we won't be there by the time. Yeah, we won't be there. Yeah. yeah. Let him. Let him do his thing. <laughs> so I could move three into the room and then yeah. stun one of the skelly Marvelous. bobs. Does that sound good? Marvelous. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm going to move two first onto the door, and then let's. Let's let's look at the lay of the land and see what we've got. The door. Oh, we've got narrative. Find yourself dragon. face to face <laughs> with the reason these bandits chose this particular hole to nest in. Animate bones. Unholy abominations of necromantic power. Nothing more to do but lay them to rest, along with the remainder of this troublesome rabble. Okay, so we have a couple of obstacles. We have two living bones, and we have two irritating archers. And as you say, we've got the chest in the bottom left. 
Um, so I need to move one more for my stun effect yeah. to work. So I will continue my movement. Okay. I'm going to skip the attack. Mm -hmm. Stun a skeleton. And then I am going to do an attack one on this skeleton and stun it. Okay, well, definitely no damage, <laughs> but it's it's stunned. Uh, and that is my go done. And it's got cold all of a sudden. Okay, Ow. I'm going to take that damage. And I will take that damage. Ooh, that's nice. 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 Needed that. Right, off you go. If you can come in and kill all four of them with one card, that would be brilliant. Yeah, so I've got... I definitely <laughs> can do that. Um, do you want to be healed rather than me attack something? No. No, I'm all right for healing. Okay. Well, it depends where you're going. I'm going to go here. That's fine, because then the skeleton will only attack you. Yeah. So plan is to get rid of the, um, yeah, get rid of the archers. Okay, here comes the guard. It's a pity I didn't put a wound on him. <laughs> He's just been dead then. Okay, that's nice. He only took a damage. Yeah. Right, round like eight. Oh. I'm running out of cards, seriously. Right. You're not going to be able to be a flanking person where I am. Uh, I can move forward with jump. Ah, okay. So I, I can go wherever you want me to go, and I can go very early. Okay, that's nice. Was that going to help? Yes. Okay. And if you could kill something that, like that archer, that would be good as well. I can try. Okay. It'd be funny if that guard is the last thing left alive. Yeah. So something like here would be good. I can move there. That's good with me. It is awfully close to that pile of gold. You know how I feel about gold today. Okay. Okay, so the guards are... Oh. Well... Never mind. It's not moving towards us. <laughs> um, that's good. Living bo oh, the archers. Attack three. That's all right. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Could be worse. Oh, except you're so going before me. Yeah, I'm going to go use the bottom of single out. Yeah. Well, oh, you got your throwing knives. I love throwing knives. Yeah. It's not going to work on that one, but it might work on that one. The, the plus thing. Come on, draw plus one. Oh, oh no. No, no, don't do it. As I say, you've been, you've been drawing all your good cards early. Yeah. Led us into a false sense of security. Right. So now it's me. So, original plan? I think so. I move to here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do... Don't want to burn the card. Mm -hmm. I am just going to do an attack two. I don't know why I bought a poison dagger. That's a real waste. Because I've got the, um, I've got the augment that puts poison and muddle on everything. Right. But you could use it here. Well, no, because every time I attack, I put poison and muddle on oh, it anyway. Poison on anyway. Yeah, okay. so that, that, buying that poison dagger was a bad idea. It was the bloke in the shop. He, he convinced he's, me. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's like that. He is. Right, if now, I've got... three cups and a pea, you don't take any notice. <laughs> i got a healing potion. I'm going to drink it. Good. Because six health is a bit squishy. Okay. Yeah, guard is just standing in the corridor and <laughs> saying, "Don't, don't attack me." Ouch! Oh yeah, and it possibly was a bad idea standing there because now the skeleton can attack both of us. Never mind. 
You're doing alright. You're not taking much damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. So I'm losing another card. I only have one card in hand. Oh, this is not going out, not going well for Ratty. But I can take the three damage. I'm down to one health. Right. I have... <laughs> I, I'm not going to survive till the end of this scenario. Uh -huh. As long as you know that, it's going to be on you. Uh -huh. So I'm going to have to short rest because I can't... I can't afford a long rest at this point. Now. It's telling me to lose that card. Oh, I don't want to lose yeah, that card. You haven't got any hits to not buy out. You know what I was saying about um, not making it to scenario two? Yeah, you were hypothesizing that we might yeah. not. Yeah. So, if I... Oh no, I've got to burn that. I don't have a choice because I'm on one health. So yeah. I can't take a damage to choose a different card. Okay, right. I can stun one of them. And okay. I can attack another one. Great. So stun, stun one of the skeletons. Stun one of the skeletons. Yeah, not not the poison one. And do an attack on one of the other ones. Yeah. And then I'm going to have to rest again next turn. Okay. Uh, Steve in the chat says, "I could have muddled both skeletons with my move four jump. I could have done, but then I would have. Um, but John wanted me here for his card." Uh, oh no, I couldn't have done because you have to you have to land back on the space that you started on. So yeah, with with that card you have to you have to move four, and if you end up back on the space where you started from, you muddle everything that you moved through. Um, Not like Rampla. Yeah. Oh, in fact, I've got it now, so I could. I could do this. Rather than stunning something, could muddle both the I could I could move four now, move through both of the archers and then kill the skeleton. Or, okay. or try to kill the skeleton. Mm -hmm. Should we go with that? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit risky though. Yeah, it is a bit risky. Anyway, you're going first. You do what you want to do first. Mm -hmm. and we'll see what happens. If you have a choice of which one to hit, oh, you're going to hit that one. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. That, that, um... I'll get a five attack on this one plus the. Yeah, go on. Plus the go for it. Six. Go for it. No, 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 no. <laughs> we didn't want the minus one. Okay. Oh, you've got another attack. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Oh, you got the the thief snack attack on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is good. Okay. Right. So, what am I going to do? Am I going to... What's the skeleton doing? Yeah, the skeleton's going to move between us and attack both of us. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm going to stun it. We don't want that happening at all. Okay. And then... What do I do here? Basic attack on the archer, isn't it? I'm thinking basic attack on the archer. Yeah. See, at this point, I really wish I'd have put my heal augment on. Okay. We, we did okay, but I might now not survive. Okay. Oh. Oh! Ow! <laughs> He sneaked up from behind. Oh. You're doing all right for cards though, aren't you? Yeah, I'll burn a card. Okay. Yeah. Now, this one might kill me. Uh, I Right. Let I need to look at my cards. Okay. So, I might be using that rule that um, my active card, my withering claw, mm -hmm. I might end up having to put that into my discard pile. Mm -hmm. because I can't take the damage, so I'm going to burn the one card I do have in hand. Oh, it's attacking both of us. 
Yeah, I can just about squeeze another round. So what I'm going to have to do is discard my Withering Claw. Okay, and then short rest. And this will be my last round now. Okay. Okay. Can you get next to the skeleton? Um, I can. I can move two next to it. Does it muck anything up? Well, my options are move two next to it and hit something for three. Mm -hmm. Or stun something and then do nothing. So that's probably my best option is, is probably moving mm -hmm. to here and then attacking yeah. something for three. How early are you going? Uh, very early. Okay. Cool. I'm done. Uh, Jill's in the chat asking, is this the uh, Arkham Horror Living Card game online? It's just like yes. it. Yes. Yeah, just just like it. Almost identical. Comes through the door at the top. <laughs> right. So I'm going before the archers. This is my last turn of the game. I've got to make this count. So what do you want me to do? Get the gold? Definitely. <laughs> um, do as much damage as you can, Paul. So I'm doing a basic move. Oh, I mean, I could immobilize an adjacent enemy and move three, but there isn't an adjacent enemy. Look at all this gold. Um, insane amount of gold. So, so if you could... Mm -hmm. You want me to move to here? Oh, I can't click it now. The space between the archer and the skeleton. Here. Okay. Yes, that would be very good. I can go there. And whack, and whack the archer, which you're likely to kill. Well, we will see. I'm go I'm going to put poison on. Yeah. <laughs> Just because I can. Go wild. Yes, I did something. Right. Bizarre. And that is me. I need a lie down. Oh dear. Well, at least I've absorbed the attack from the skeleton. Oh, no, yeah, I haven't. Yeah. Oh, one of them. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Oh, you're dead. Um, Balls. yeah. Balls. <laughs> right. So you don't get the bonus, I'm afraid, because... No, I don't. No. <laughs> oh, but I did get my double, my extra two damage because he's not next to a, yeah. a, a thingy anymore. Ooh. Oh, so close. Right. But don't forget, uh, we want that yeah. chest. <laughs> yes. Because that chest contains a random side scenario. Right. Yeah. Oh, this is great. This I'll just sit back and... Glad you think so. I'm having a heart attack here. <laughs> um, Which is a sign of a good game. Mm. One enemy left. You can do this. It's only got two health. Yeah, I'm going to have to short rest to get a, a melee attack back. You could just... Okay. You could just do a basic melee attack and then play loot too. You'd get loads of gold. Yeah, I wouldn't get the... I wouldn't get the... thing. Yeah, true. I wouldn't get the chest. Yeah. Sneaky short rest. Yeah. I think if this doesn't work, I'll bugger it out. So what I was going to do is jump onto the... Jump onto the treasure. With the move five? Yeah, move five, and then and swift, bow. swift bow. Yeah. Okay. Where's your move card? Pick up all of your loot on the way. Um, not with me anymore. Right. I think you have to click continue. I as need well. to click continue. Yep. Here we go then. So five movement opens the chest. Okay, and then. Or it will at the end of the turn. Campers. 
Cross your fingers. There you go. Ooh. Got him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and at the end of the round, you loot the chest and we get a random side scenario. Sulfur mine has been unlocked. I'm going to have to go and take some Nogged on there. I don't think I've unlocked that one in the actual board game. Dead. Right. But we got some narrative. You take a moment to catch your breath and steel yourself against the visions of living remains ripping at your flesh. Your target I didn't make it, but is you not did. among the dead. Indigent. And you shudder to think what horrors still well await done. you in the catacombs below. I had to get... Uh... Well, you're probably listening to stuff. I was, so. yes. So, you were aiming to get 13 or more experience points in the scenario. Wow, that's, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a tough one. But yeah, mine was to loot no gold piles. Mm -hmm. So I got two perk points for that. Um, mm -hmm. And it tracks all of the stats for that particular scenario. I took 18 damage. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> you did 57. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got 9 XP for your cards. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. So, we click on Exit Dungeon. Um, and we're not going to disappear just yet. We are just going to show you what we've unlocked, because we did unlock a random side scenario. There you go. So, quest complete. 6 XP for completing it. And there you go. Sulfur Mine has been unlocked. So, we can now go there, I believe. We will see. And Barrow Lair, which is scenario two. Um, and it says, occasionally you'll come across linked quests. So scenario one is linked to scenario two. What that means is, if you want to, you can actually go straight from one to two without having to go back to town. Now, the advantage of that is that you don't get another road event. The disadvantage is that you don't get another city event, because city events can be advantageous. Um, but... We don't, For now, we don't have any gold to spend. So. We, we don't have any gold to spend. That that is a good point. Um, but for now, we are gonna we're gonna wrap things up. So thank you very much for joining me, John. It was emotional. It it was it was. Now just before we go, a uh, couple of things. Uh, this obviously Flaming Fowl Studios were kind enough to give me an uh, an advance copy of the campaign for me to show to you. Um, but I haven't been paid for this video at all. So. The only reason I'm able to make content is through the support of the Patreon campaign. So if you like the content that I create uh, and you want to see more, please continue to support me on Patreon. Uh, if you are not a Patreon supporter, it is patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Uh, Patreon supporters do get exclusive access to some additional content, including me and John playing Scenario 2. So we're going to have a, a couple of minutes break or five minutes break. I'm going to check that the cats are okay. And then me and John will be playing Scenario 2 but that will be a Patreon-only stream. So if you're a Patreon supporter of mine, uh, I will be posting the link on the Slack channel in about five minutes' time, and I'll probably send an email through the Patreon page as well. Um, and yeah, if you are interested in the campaign, it is available, uh, fully available, on the 20th of October. Um, but you can, buy, you can buy the digital version now, and the campaign will unlock on the 20th, and there's loads of content for you to play around with in the meantime. Um, but yeah... We're all, we're all done. So yeah, John, I'll let you disappear and uh, stretch your legs. I will do the same thing. And we'll be back in five minutes. Okay. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you Bye, all soon. Everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.